Do you support the current supply management system? Yes or no? No, there is no free country when you have centrally planned economy. Instead of protecting supply management and central Politburo planning, we should not cap how much dairy Canadians may produce. It's utter nonsense. I oppose supply management. Mr. Sherry. I fully supply, I fully support supply management. I always have. And in this era of supply chains that are disrupted, this is, in fact, a policy that guarantees us access to food that we need. So I unequivocally Mr. support Aitchison. supply management. No, I don't. In fact, supply management costs the average Canadian family about $600 a year. I think it's important in an affordability crisis that we actually help Canadians make food cheaper to eat. That's the problem with supply management. It's costing too much for Canadians. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Brown. Yes, um, the party has a history of supporting supply management, but I think it's fair in this affordability crisis to have a broader consultation uh, with our membership. Mr. Polyev. Uh, I do support uh, supply management. The alternative would be to buy out the quota, and that would cost 10, 20, 30 billion dollars, and that would have to be done through a tax on consumers, which could be more expensive. Uh, than the alternative. We should lower food costs by getting rid of the carbon tax and okay, other taxes that are driving up out, the cost we're of out. food. Uh, Mr. Aitchison and, oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Lewis, I'm, uh, Thank my you. apologies. Supply management. I do support supply management. Our dairy and egg producers give us superior products. Without supply management, our industry would be overrun by U.S. producers. I prefer to have a superior product that we'll pay a little bit more for, and if we want to bring down the price, cut the carbon tax. Okay. I'm going to ask Mr. Baber and you, Dr. Lewis, because you hold opposing views on this. Mr. Baber, why don't you tell Dr. Lewis exactly why it is that we should not have supply management and perhaps, as the, as the critics of your position would say, put those industries into jeopardy? So uh, one of the themes today is, is cost of living. At a time when cost of living is so high, uh, visit a grocery store. Life is becoming unaffordable. Why not to increase more supply instead of telling farmers how much milk they can produce? Uh, um, we should encourage the creation of more goods, especially if we're worried about inflation. But I support a gradual phasing out of supply management because, yes, we do have quotas and, and we have concessions that people bought. We have to provide them with some ease down, but we should not cap how much Canadians can produce. Okay. And Dr. Lewis, critics of your position might say, what is a Conservative doing supporting the policies of Pierre Trudeau on a state-imposed mechanism? Well, on, uh, from a free market perspective, supply management, of course, is not a free market uh, pr uh, ideology. However, we have to ensure that we support our farmers and we have to ensure that Canadians get the best product on their table. If we want to cut costs, we can cut the carbon tax and that is what is bringing up the cost of food for Canadians. Thank you very much, both of you.